Well, hello everybody. I haven't made a video for a while because well, I really haven't done a lot on the car. Uh, the weather's been a bit iffy and I've been very busy with other stuff. So there's not been much to report, but I thought I should perhaps just do something just to let you know what's going on for those of you who are interested. Uh, the first thing is I painted, these are the seat pans uh, that I made, I've showed in the last video, so they were all painted up. Um, I fitted those and the seat runners and I've got this one open to show you the runners. Um, just a top tip I suppose they call it, if you're going to do this, fit the left hand side one before you put the exhaust system on. Particularly if, like me, you've fitted a heat shield underneath the car, I fitted a piece of Hardy Flex, um, and I had to take that off and drop the heat shield to get the three screws, um, equivalent to these three screws, on that side in place. They're very difficult if you don't do that. Um, so that took a lot longer. Uh, I know sometimes it's not practical to do that, but it's just a little tip if it's of any use. These are fitted with um, uh, a piece of steel strengthener, I suppose, and then a wooden, a wooden gap, gapping piece, um, and then the the uh, slider on top. The original, you can see that I painted these black. The original, that's the steel piece underneath there, which is probably about an inch and a half wide. Um, they were originally very thin, about forty thou maybe. I made these a bit thicker. Um, they're probably about an eighth of an inch. Mm, I don't think they're three sixteenths, remember, but they could be about an eighth of an inch. I didn't think it would make a huge difference, and it just strengthens it up a little bit more. Um, of course, you've got to watch the length of the shouldered bolts. There are three shouldered bolts that come through underneath, through the chassis, um, onto the, the runners. Um, if you go too long, they won't reach. Um, and I made some new wooden um, spacer pieces here. They're made out of what we call Australian oak. Um, but it's really it's just native hardwood, a eucalypt of some sort. Um, very good for this sort of stuff. It doesn't twist much or bend. Um, they're probably about half an inch thick, three eighths of an inch maybe, something like that. Um, and then the runners are on top. I haven't yet put the bolts on here. Let's screw these in place. But it all works. I don't know I can do it one handed, but yes I can. Okay, it all works very nicely. So that's a little job done, um, which you know took a little bit of time. The other thing I've done is I've covered the parcel shelf. Now you'll notice also in there that there's a hole for the water bottle which um, runs the windscreen wipers. That's the original bottle and frame there, I haven't painted the frame yet, and I don't have a lid for the bottle, so I've got to try and find one of those. The um, the right-hand drive cars had the hole for the bottle on the right-hand side of the pass. Sorry, the left-hand drive cars had the hole for the bottle on the right-hand side of the parcel shelf. But when you swap them over, it doesn't seem to fit because it fouls on the transmission tunnel. So the hole has to be in the center. As you can see, that's pretty well where that one is. Well, it's exactly where that one is actually. So in order to do that, I, I cut the old hole section out and re-welded it in the middle and then welded a new piece in to fill the hole section. Probably should have filmed some of that but you can't film everything. Um, and I recovered that from a, a kit, recovering kit thing which is you know, not that easy to do but worked alright. Uh, and I got it from AH Spares because that's where I got all the vinyl from and I wanted to keep the colours matching. This is the type of carpet that um, this is the section I cut out, obviously. This is the sort of carpet that comes with it, and this is also one of the selections they offer for their carpet kit, which I think I'm going to go with. It has a nice original feel about it. It's got that Hessian backing. The carpet, there wasn't much carpet in the car, but the carpet that was in the car was more like a loop wool pile. Um, but maybe that wasn't original, because the car had been restored at some point. This is very, very similar to the the carpet that was in my MGA in black because I had most of that and it, it is really similar. So it's got a nice period feel about it so I think the carpet kit will be the same so that'll match the parcel shelf. Um, one little question I do have which somebody might be able to answer is about the choke cable. Um, it's very hard to see under here. I'm surprised this camera sort of picks up the light. Um, 
Where is the choke cable? There it is there. See, I fitted the choke cable on that little bracket off um, this, one of the brackets that holds the dash, um, which is sort of where it was on the, on the left-hand drive car. But it is a bit stiff and I'm having some trouble getting it to work properly. The, I have read somewhere or heard somewhere that on the right-hand drive cars, the choke bracket was actually, the choke cable, sorry, was actually mounted on a bracket which you can't see, uh, that holds the parcel shelf. Runs from the side of the parcel shelf up to the underside of the scuttle. Now that would, that would mean that the choke cable is closer to the carburetors, so it might operate smoother, but it would also be pretty inaccessible because it would be hidden behind the heater box. So if anybody's watching this and they can give me some advice on that, that would be really terrific, because uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Um, so that's probably about it for the inside of the car. Um, one of the other things I have done is to fit a boot kit to the car. I hope you'll forgive me for calling it a boot. Um, a trunk is something long and grey that an elephant has as far as I'm concerned, or something you pack if you're going on an extended holiday. This is... Um, I think they call it Hardura. Um, very messy stuff. It leaves bits of bits of itself everywhere. This is um, a bit of an offcut there. You can see. I mean, I'm sure you know what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, it looks pretty good. You know, it's it's looks fairly original. It's quite hard to work with. It's very stiff. Very hard to get it over a 90 degree sharp 90 degree angle. I mean, it's all right with a small piece like this, but. It is actually quite difficult. I had to do a lot of trimming. Uh, that I sort of expected that. Um, I had to trim these side pieces quite a bit. And I've, they're glued in place, but I've left the top sections of them unglued because behind those, the bolts fit that hold the wings on and also on the bottom. So I needed to be able to get, get out of that. This back section is all glued together. Um, you can see the edge of the Hadura across there. Uh, I still have a bit of trimming to do. I tried to find out whether it should come up and over this. I couldn't really find any definitive answer, but most people think it should stop where I've stopped it. It would be almost impossible to get it up and around there without a huge amount of persuasion. Um, this little section here is made of cardboard, as you will know, and has to be treated fairly delicately. I must say I was very careful with it, and you can see it's already starting to crack slightly along there. These screws that hold it in place, I had the original screws and washers um, and they were painted black. So I've painted those black. As far as I'm concerned that's the way they should be. Um, they were originally like that. I still have to get a, a battery tray. I don't have one of those yet. Uh, and some battery, a battery hold down strap and probably a little cover to go over the top. I think there's a little plastic cover you can get that goes over the top. It fits pretty well. Um, it looks good. I'm not all that happy with the fit of this large piece here. And this large piece lifts out to reveal the petrol tank. Um, I can't trim that because it's edged, as you can see. So I'm just going to have to live with it folded over. I suspect that over the years as, as you know I put things in there and the heat gets to it a little bit it'll soften up and, and um, work a little bit better in the space. But that is about it. Uh, a little bit of progress made I suppose and every every little bit counts. Um, spring is coming, the sun shining today, the next couple of days promise to be about 24 degrees which is quite nice. Uh, so the birds are singing and there's a, there's a hint of new life in the air, which is really lovely. So I feel more inclined to get out here. I do have quite a bit of stuff to do in the house and around the house for the next few months. So my work on this car is probably going to be a little bit limited. And consequently, the videos are as well. But thanks for watching. I guess the next thing I'm probably going to do is get a carpet kit in um, and maybe start fitting some of that. Um, and um, again, thanks for watching and I'll keep you up to date for those of you who are interested.